In the case of the lamprey, the Native Americans have got their movements completely figured. This is because the lamprey is a traditional food source going back generations. And in the Willamette River in the Pacific Northwest, they hit this major obstacle on their way upstream, a 40-foot high wall of rock, a torrent of water thundering over it, 20,000 cubic feet a second. And amazingly, this doesn't stop the migration, but it does hold them up and create a concentration of fish. And this is where they go fishing. The thing about lamprey is you can't catch them on a rod and line. They're not interested in a little morsel of food on a hook. They actually feed on creatures much bigger than they are. Um, they don't have jaws, but they attach by means of a sucker. They then bore a hole by means of these teeth that they have inside, and then they drink the body fluid. They have been known to attack people, but in this particular place they're not in feeding mode, they're in migrating and breeding mode. So the only way you're going to get them there is to actually go in and grab them, actually pull them off the rock. So it's bare hands. Well, it's not quite bare hands because they're so slippery, um, you, you need some kind of help, you need to wear gloves, and the idea is you put your hand just behind the sucker and then break the suction between the fish and the rock. The rocks themselves are incredibly slippery. Bare feet, you'd be slipping all over the place, so you need a bit of enhanced grip. But other than that, it's just very, very simple, basic fishing. Uh, it took me a little while to get my first one, then my confidence was getting up. But the thing with fish, even lamprey, although they're so primitive, they are very intelligent, and uh, sometimes they will have the last word. And there it is. This is a real first for me. This is a fish that can't be caught on a bait, on a rod and line. And there are the three fans.